What's going on guys, Waco from Grail Watch and here with a really cool guy. You know, he's a little under the radar, but I have the pleasure of introducing him now. His name is Jean-Luc Glenat and he is the head of design at Frank Mueller Watchline. How are you, sir? Good, thank you, yeah. thank you. You look great. Yeah, thanks, you too. You <laughs> too. Thank, thank you very much. So uh, I wanted to talk to you, Jean-Luc, a little bit about the story of this amazing project, of mm. these three watches that we've created. Two watches, manual wine with Lemania movements, new old stock, vintage Lemania movements from the 90s, yeah. uh, and then of course the double-sided chronograph. But let's start with these uh, two Lemania-based chronographs. So I remember when I came to see Nicholas and you, and I said, listen, I really want to make an homage to this, this watch. Is it possible? And I remember the moment that you went, you looked around, you came back, and you had these vintage movements and you're yeah. like this will make the difference because the size of the watch will be correct and i remember your reaction your reaction as it at this moment also it was uh, crazy for you to discover this stock and this movement this beautiful lemania movement yeah it, it was honestly one of the coolest moments of my life you know <laughs> uh, i the idea that you had these movements which would also make the because you know for you also proportion and size is really important mm -hmm. and we had discussed the idea maybe we could put an automatic movement in there but that would have made the watch a little bit thicker and we want to honor really the original yeah. proportions of the design yeah, yeah. and we we have uh, the stock of movement and uh, we wait a long time to for, to find the right moment and the right collaboration to use it, and it was uh, it was the right time with you. <laughs> you're, you're so kind, thank you. And I, I mean, I was uh, you know I had interviewed Nicholas earlier, and I was speaking to him and, and thanking him because I know that this, these are representative of a treasure. You know, to have these vintage mm -hmm. chronograph movements um, from the '90s, and then to wait, you know, for I guess 30 years to use them in, in our collaboration. Mm -hmm. I'm so honored. You know? So. So thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. So let's talk about the two versions of this watch. We decided that we, you know, we, we saw the vintage watches. Um, we decided we make uh, a three counter watch with a black dial mm -hmm. and a two counter watch with a silver dial as well. Right? Mm -hmm. But I remember we were discussing a little bit about how we will want to update this watch to make it perfect for the modern consumer. So the first thing we discussed was size, mm -hmm. and I think that you and Nicola really felt that thirty between thirty eight and thirty nine would be perfect, and we I think we ended up in thirty nine. Yeah, it was the right size for us. Sure, for this. Uh, project 29 uh, to respect all the tradition and the size of the 90s watches yeah exactly and then uh, I, I'm, then we started to talk about details and one of the first things we discussed was you know because I was saying to you uh, you know Jean-Luc you know Frank in the 90s the design language that he created it's, it was like it's, if Patek Philippe had a really sexy cousin, you know, yeah. a Latin guy who was like an amazing watchmaker, but also, you know, uh, he drove a sports car, a convertible, he was you know, salsa dancing in the evening. That, that, that's the feeling I get from the watches. Yeah, but in the same time, like a tradition and Correct. respect of the watchmaking. <laughs> yes, and mastering all complications as well, which is yeah. incredible. Uh, and sexy watches in the same time, so it was this, this particularity to Frank, of course. Exactly. So we said, you know, uh, if we're going to remake this watch, let's maybe increase even the sexiness a little bit, right? Let's yeah. let's go from maybe 10% or 20% more sexy. Index, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I remember your, your request and your idea, it was a good idea to, yeah. to put some touch of sexy and more expressive uh, details here. Yeah. Yes, so you know, Jean-Luc and Nicholas and I decided that we would increase the size of the indexes, both the uh, applied dot markers, but also this amazing Breguet applied numeral 12 on the three counter watch and then the 12 and six on the two counter watch mm -hmm. as well, right? Mm -hmm. But I, I have to say, Jean-Luc, your attention to detail is amazing, you know, like the, the brushing of the case, the step in the bezel, the bezel yeah. having a polished um, on the, area, on the just top, on, yeah. only on the top, yeah. you know, yeah. um, it's so cool. And then we, were, we discussed it and, and we were like, you know what, let's give a little extra twist to the, the chronograph pushers. Tell, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, about the, the pressure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah to, you asked me to, to, uh, to take some uh, spirit of 90s watches and we put this uh, canle yes, on the, the pressure. Fluting. Yes, the exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, it was a beautiful idea yeah, to, to put it because we can see on the result it's a beautiful detail. So. It, it gives it this real, as the yeah. Italian collectors say, yeah. tasti tondi effect with this wonderful floating as well. My passion and my work uh, of the design team, of course, was around also the dial. It was a very big part for us because we worked again on the Grenet finishing and uh, it d didn't happen since a long time in the brand to work this finishing Grenet. So we explore 
again, this finishing grenade was very uh, hard work and very passion. Yeah, yeah. I love it. And in fact, to me, the grenade, so grenade guys means uh, frosted, you know, mm -hmm. and it's this, you know, really beautiful texture, which you're right. Actually, most modern watches don't use grenade. Mm -hmm. And to do it in such a beautiful and refined way yeah. uh, was great. And then I also, when we had the discussion too with Nicholas, let's maximize the difference decoration areas, yeah. so there's a lot of contrast in, yeah, in, exactly. in the dial as yeah, well, right? Yeah, exactly, and brushed, and maybe guilloché on uh, the double frieze. Yes. And granny, of course, it's a beautiful finishing, yeah. It's amazing. Can, I, can, can we exchange watches? Yeah. So this, I actually haven't seen the, the two counter watch yet, so this is the black three counter watch. And, and this is the silver dial, yeah. Okay, we're gonna do a exchange. Oh, wow, that's phenomenal. And I love your idea of using the, these blued hands as well, right? Mm. For, for both the hour minute and the chronograph. That's phenomenal. Okay, I take it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I wanted to ask you a question, uh, Jean-Luc, about the word uh, anti-magnetic. Right, because we, we knew the original watches, I think Frank had intended them to be watches that you could really wear and use. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we had a discussion, yeah, but you know, the collector is going to want to see the movement because it's such a treasure to have this vintage movement in the watch. Mm -hmm. uh, but the original watches were solid case back, which helped them become anti-magnetic as well, you know? Mm -hmm. So in the end, you decided, and with, along with Nicholas, to give us two case backs. So you have both the sapphire case back and also a second solid case back, and, and collectors can choose which one they want to will use, right? Yeah, you know, they can change the case back, yeah. Wow. I have to say, even the, the dimensions of the crown are so beautiful. It's like yeah, large exactly. and then flat as well, exactly. you know? Right proportion, yeah. Uh, and uh, so the curve of this port, yes. Yeah, yes. The, oh, yeah, yeah, it's very young. Uh, Oh, that's fabulous. The profile is very uh, beautiful now. Wow. Beside you. Uh, I'm uh, deeply honored to participate in this uh, project with you. Uh, Jean-Luc, you're a great guy. I, I took a lot of pleasure also to work with you. And uh, of course, we have maybe other projects together for the Indeed. future. Indeed. Yeah? Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Louis. Okay. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.